Hi. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a cross section of a bump or displacement map. So here I have, for example, a pyramid shape, and I want to have the cross section. So for example, make it look like a side view of this height. So I would have something like this. Another example could be, for example, having a Perlin noise. So here I'm getting the cross section of a Perlin noise. So this can give you some interesting effects and can be used to create specific patterns that would otherwise not be entirely possible. So let's get started. The first thing we need is actually a displacement. So you can use any node for this that can accept a UV or position input, for example, a tiled node, an image node. We could use, for example, a cloud node or any other node that has a position manifold or UV input. So that specifically does not include a paint node because a paint node does not have any UV input. So for this example, I'm going to create a shape node. Let's view this and let me set this to an interesting shape. For example, the waves here. So this is the shape I want to have the cross section of. Next, I'm going to create a UV node, which outputs just the blank UVs of this tile. I'm going to plug this into the manifold of the shape. And let's view this again. And there won't be any difference now. Now I want to have control over these UVs. So I'm going to put in a manifold UV in between just for later use so I can control the tiling. So for example, if I would go in here and increase the tiling, you can see I have tiling control this way. This is similar to changing the tiling directly in the shape node. However, this way I have additional controls. Now we need to actually modify these UVs a little bit to make it look like at the cross section of this object. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a vector split, which is a new Mari 4.6 node. If you don't have Mari 4.6 yet, you could also use the RGBA split, which is a um, extension pack node, but I'm going to try to stick to standard Mari nodes here, at least to a point, so you can follow along even if you don't have extension pack. So let's take this. So we have this looking like this now, and now I need to reprocess the um, X coordinate of these UVs. So I'm going to add a vector combine, which is also a Mari 4.6 node. And if you don't have Mari 4.6, you could use the RGBA merge, which is the same thing, just with extension back. So next, I'm going to create a float node and attach this to the green channel, the vector combine. And this actually defines the coordinates of our cross section. So for example, if I want to have the cross section go through the center of my waves, so let me view this again here. So if I want to have the cross section go right through here, I will define the coordinates here. So let me plug this back in and set my coordinates. In this case, I'm setting it to 0 0.5. So this is still not exactly what we want. Next, we need to actually process the Y coordinate of our UVs. <clears throat> so the V coordinates. So again, the same thing. I'm going to add a vector split and plug this in here. Well, actually, I'm going to make it simpler. I'm just going to use the existing one. And let me add a subtract node here, which is a math node. I'm going to take the green channel of my vector split and plug it into our A. I'm going to create another float node and plug it into the B. And let me rename these float nodes a little bit. So this is our cross section coordinate. And this float node actually defines our floor. So I'm going to use this and call this floor coordinate. So the next thing is I need to actually invert this. So I need to invert the Y coordinate. So using extension pack, you could just use a GL one minus. So basically this will take one minus whatever I feed in. Or if you don't have extension pack, you could um, use another subtract. Use a vector. Set this to one and then feed in this. And this is exactly the same thing. So it would subtract one minus the input stream. Now we need to 
at a condition node. And this is where it gets a bit tricky because this is something you cannot do in standard Mari node. But with extension pack, you have this condition node, which is basically a little um, if statement. So a, like if, if you would program, it would be an if statement. So I'm going to plug in our X coordinate into the A. And I'm going to take the output of our one minus and plug it into the B. And let's view this. And here we are, we already have something quite interesting. So you can see we have the cross section of our shape. Now inside of the condition node, I can make some modifications. So I can set this to a larger B or a smaller B, which in this case is something we want. So we have, want to have a solid shape. And now for example, I could use the floor coordinate and move the floor down. And here we are, we have our shape. So this is the exact shape that we would have um, of this. So this is the cross section. Now I could go into the manifold and change the tiling. So you can see I have multiple iterations of this. Yeah. And that is basically how you create a cross section out of any shape or any displacement inside of Mari. So it's fairly simple. And sometimes it can be quite useful. At the very least, it is useful to understand actually how your displacement works or exactly the height that it produces.